Hey drone technology fans, Bill here. The FAA issued a waiver yesterday. Why is this important? Let's find out. The FAA yesterday issued a waiver to CNN to allow drone flights over crowd for news purposes. This is a first. This has never been allowed before. The only other type of waivers that have been allowed by the FAA were for filmmakers on a temporary basis to be able to shoot over crowds, over people with people's consent. But this is a first. CNN, actually Time Warner who owns CNN, has worked with a company called Vantage Robotics to develop their own drone called the Snap. The Snap it will be available for retail use for consumers for $899. There'll be a link in the description for this. The unique thing about the Snap is it does shoot in 4K and the four blades are encased in a cage and the body will separate from the blades if it crashes. It's held together magnetically and I have a short little clip that I'm going to show you here in a second to see what that's like. But this is, this is, this is significant. Uh, this, this is just absolutely huge news for those of us that are part 107 pilots. Let's take a look at that clip right now. As you can see here, the propellers are encased in the snap. You can see how easy it comes apart and be able to put it into a backpack as he's going to demonstrate. And then how easy it is to set up and get ready to fly. It's, it's very easy. This, this, the specifications say it will run for uh, 20 minutes, has 20 minutes of flight time. It has a 4K video, uh, shoots uh, incredible pictures from what I've seen on the website. I'm definitely going to put a link out there. And take a look at some of these uh, shots that the company has put out there. Just some incredible uh, shots that are taken by, by the drone. It's just, it's just by the snap. It's just great. Uh, you'll be able also to control it from not only your smartphone, but also is advertised by the company from game controllers, such as an Xbox or maybe a PlayStation controller, which is fantastic. As you can see here, this feature is uh, one of the features that's very similar to what you see on the, on the Spark. Um, it, it, and being able to shoot in 4K, that's a winner. That's, that's incredible. It is rather pricey. It is $899. So. Okay, you can see. It's very reminiscent to me, being a Spark owner, it's very reminiscent of the Spark. So I'm really, I really like the aesthetics of it. It looks nice. Um, watching some of the film, you know, I'll definitely, I'll include a link to the company's website where you can take a look at some of the other films that were shot by this. I'm very impressed. It shoots in 4K. Uh, the runtime is estimated at 20 minutes and it's at 1.37 pounds. So a lot of things uh, were, were in favor and I think CNN, Time Warner, and Vantage Robots, Robotics, they did their homework on this. They did it right. This is going to be huge. And the reason it's going to be huge, it's going to allow Part 107 pilots such as myself and all of those of you out there who are Part 107 pilots to be able, hopefully in the future, to fly over people um, you know, for, for business purposes. Um, you probably, you know, they'll, they'll, they will still have uh, in effect, like being not being able to, you know, fly over stadium crowds, um, that type of thing. But, you know, for commercial purposes, um, you know, the FAA is probably going to be able to start granting waivers for this. My hope is that the FAA can streamline this process because I've heard a lot of people trying to get waivers to be able to fly near airports that it takes an exorbitant amount of time to do this. That's my hope for this. But once this is open, this is going to be huge for those of us who are part 107 pilots because it allows us for commercial purposes to be able to fly over people. And, you know, let's, let's be honest, you know, those of us who are part 107 pilots, it's a hobby to me, but it's also a source of income. And that's something that I'm really going to look forward to is to be able to do that. So we'll see how this plays out with CNN. Uh, being able to do that. So when you see some footage from CNN that looks like a drone over people coming up, it's going to be this, which is really exciting. So I'm, I'm excited for CNN. I'm excited for the drone industry. I'm excited for Part 107 Pilots. It's a win-win for everybody. This is going to be great. If you like the content from today's video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tell others about our channel. Also, be sure to check out my blog where I post many reviews and updates on the drone and technology industries. Thanks for watching and have a great day.